we all get excited about coming to camp. Um, all of us wait and wait to get here. We had one parent who called uh, this past week who said that her child with Down syndrome kept calling her over and over again at work at the hospital saying, is it time for my camp? Is it time for my camp? And finally the mom said, no, it's not time for your camp. It's three more days. And the little girl said, mom, you're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, then we had another uh, family who has a child with autism whose son has come for the last three years and he has had been asking his parents every day is it time to go to camp and he has all of his things packed and by the door has, has had it packed by the door for weeks and he finally just looked up at his dad and says I'm just gonna run to camp so we all do that we just about pack when we get back and wait the whole year for getting back here again. It feels like family, it feels like coming home, um, feels like a little piece of paradise in the middle of the woods. The coordination and preparation that it takes to pull the camp together is really unbelievable and it takes the entire city of Hattiesburg and beyond to pull resources together. It's an all volunteer camp and it's run solely on donations and, and the, the goodness of people and willingness of people to come and serve. We have a thousand people who come in and out, in and out of the gates every year. Before River of Life got involved with coming to the camp, several of us got together and we would clean 45 buildings. But by the time everybody was here and ready for camp, we were spent. We didn't have the energy um, emotionally, physically, or spiritually to meet the challenge of have, setting the, the, the tone for a great camp. It was clean, but we were exhausted. So now, thanks to River of Life, we have the manpower that comes out, gets the 40-something buildings and all the grounds ready. And then when the campers move in, we are, we're fresh and ready to lead. Um, families feel great about bringing their child to a place that's been cleaned and um, it feels ready and welcoming to them. They can leave the campgrounds knowing that their child is in a place that is, that's clean and ready. Yay! Do you know there's a popsicle coming? Each year, River of Life Church volunteers to spend a day cleaning the facilities and preparing the site for campers. If you would like to help, there are two ways to get involved. We need volunteers who can help clean the morning of July 10th, and we need people who can prepare food for the workers. To sign up, please visit the table in the foyer. Food can be brought to the church Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. For questions, please contact Tammy at the church office at 601-268-6300.